Okay, it's the last short question. Mm, okay. um, should we encourage greater contact between elders and young students, like to set up a for more formal mentoring scheme or something like that? Um, definitely, I mean, there is a need for that. And actually, we have uh, we have tried out a buddy system, a buddy scheme mm. for um, young people. Uh, for young 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 undergraduate students here in this university uh, to uh, serve as a kind of a buddy mm -hmm. to the elders. Now that was introduced at the beginning of the Elder Academy, getting uh, elder students coming to campus to learn, right? Because elders, they have not been learning and they have not been studying in a university or in a school for a long time. You know, it perhaps may be 20 years ago or even 30 years ago or even 40 years ago you know, when they did their studies, right, in a school setting or in a university setting. So the first time when they came back to university, when they came back, came out, came to campus, they uh, they don't know, you know, how to use the library, mm -hmm. they don't know how to use the computer, they don't know how to, um, you know, start the email, um, they don't know how to uh, get onto the in intranet, mm. you know, to get information and so on. So we, 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 we set that up to, um, you know, to pair them up uh, with, a, with younger students oh. helping the on older one. students, yeah, mm. or maybe one to a few mm. perhaps at that time, right? I mean, we, 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 we just get volunteers from the... Uh, some volunteers from the mm. from the from the younger undergrads, and so that 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 helped them a lot in settling into the uh, new environment. You mm. know, when they first came. Now, after a couple of years, maybe one or two years, we 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 felt that there's a lesser need uh, mm. for that because um, you know, term after term, year after year, it probably will be the same elders. You know, who are coming back oh. to take the courses, right? Because we are. You know, students after they have take one course in one semester, then the next semester, mm. then they will take another course. So, so they will be, they you know, to. yeah, they will be current students mm. instead of really new students. We have a couple uh, new students, uh, you know, from time to time, but it's, but the number is not that much, um, uh, you know, and and they could form, you know, sort of informal. Uh, help group mm. even among the elders themselves. Mm. I mean, the elders who are more familiar with the place here, they will become mentors, or you know, they will become buddies mm. for the newcomers. So um, you know that that kind of mentoring system between the young and old is not uh, needed, um, you know, so desperately as it was in the beginning. Right? Mm. So, but but I think you know something ongoing. Uh, would be nice. I mean, some sort of uh, uh, meetings or some sort of uh, seminars, uh, you know, some sort of um, uh, uh, talks where both young people and older people can get together and learn at the same time and listen to a talk or listen to something, you know, very inspiring and both of them, you know, I mean, both sides can benefit a lot too. Mm, okay, so we have ask everything we want. Mm. So um, thank you very much Maureen for um, your sharing and some like uh, very impressive example <laughs> that I think I, I, I've learned a lot as, as well and so thank you very much. My pleasure, thank mm -hmm. you.